Hey YouTube, this is BJ20. I'm back again to show the SPO Labs wireless base meter, third edition. And the reason why I'm here talking about it today is because um, I made a previous video showing the meter on the PC. Today I'm going to be doing it on my Android device here. So this is an attachment to my clamp meter. These are where your attachments go here on the side. I'll show you guys here. Just bear with me. I'm still getting familiar with everything. So the cord here goes into this area here. And these are the leads. That of course goes to the positive and negative from the clamp. And this is the clamp itself. Now this clamp does not come with the meter. This is an ad additional attachment. You can get a clamp meter, a RTA meter, or another SPL meter that the wireless base meter third edition accepts. I got the clamp meter because I wanna be able to test different amplifiers. So I'm showing you guys pretty much how to do it, how to set it up. Now, what you wanna do is first, power on the meter itself. Then on your Android device, what you wanna do is turn on your Wi-Fi. Go to your Wi-Fi settings. And it's right here, wireless base meter, TE. This is the third edition. Now, what I do not like is inside the box of the SPL meter itself, there are no instructions, nothing that tells you what the, the password is or how to set it up. So I'm still playing around with this, just trying to get familiar. I was messing around with it and I realized that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight does connect. So connect it there. Uh, see what happened there. Uh, there you go. Shows connected. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. Now for Android, for the SPL Labs meter, you do have to download the app here, SPL Lab app from the Google Play Store. It does cost $5.00. But once you pay, that's one thing I did not care for. I wish it came with a free app. But once you pay the five dollars, then it's just a one-time fee. I pay for that app, and I'm using it on this phone as well as the one I'm recording from. Now, usually, the DB SPL and the average does not appear. It looks just like this, blacked out like the RT, RTA. And what you have to do is go to config. And just make sure you go to device select as you press that. Sometimes it's in built in mic. What you have to do is just put it on next lab device and then scroll down while you're in config settings. Let me see. Okay, right here, port one, which is the SPL meter itself. That's how you test your you know, sound pressure. And then port two would be the attachment that you have on the actual meter itself. If you're using the third edition, such as myself, like I said, you can use another SPL sensor, RTA microphone meter, or the power sensor, which I'm using now. The power sensor is the clamp. So just press that. Go press update. It says data update success. So that just means that it's registering that these are the attachments that you're using. So I'm gonna to go to DB SPL, which is gonna show you, of course, your decibels, as well as AC, it's gonna register the AC voltage, AC amperage, and um, VA is voltage and amperage multiplied together to give you the max output, which is your wattage. Um, 
And of course on the top there is your hertz that you play it at. I'm going to be doing a 40 hertz tone so you can see. I do not care about the graphs right now at the particular moment. So I'm going to just go ahead and take them down. So it's going to display the amperage and everything, the power. Let's just keep that on there so you can see VA is the max output. So to reset it, of course, it has a reset. T to put your max hold, just press hold there, and it'll keep your max um, decibel as well as your max um, power that you clamped. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. It also shows you the waves and how much distortion you have playing. So I'm at volume 35, and I playing a 40 hertz tone from my tablet. So let's go ahead and press play. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I did a 146.5 at 40 hertz, and it's 115 volts AC times 18.4 AC amps, and it gave me a total of 21, 2,128 watts is the total there. So this is a better look here as to what's going on. And then you seeing of course the distortion on the graph on the bottom right now is just kind of flopping everywhere since I'm not playing anything and the time is still going but that's how much power that I clamped out of the amplifier and that's 146.5 is what I did at that set power so just to give you guys no idea how to do it this is with the SPL Labs wireless base meter, the third edition. So you can just, like I said, you'll know exactly what kind of decibels you're hitting at the power. And I don't know, it's a real fun tool to get familiar with. I'm still trying to play around with it, but I figured I'd show people what it has to offer. So I hope you liked this video. Sorry to make it so long. Thanks for tuning in.